Hi, Octavian. Can you tell me uh, where we are? What's your product today? Sure. So I'm Octavian. I'm the software lead here at Lumen, where we build glasses that empower the blind. So we basically looked at the solutions available for the blind in terms of mobility, and there's only basically two. You have the white cane and some tech solutions for it, but they're far away from being an actual solutions for navigating unknown environments. And you have the, white, the guide dog. The guide dog is a far better solution, but in terms of cost, there's about $60,000 of just training cost, and taking care of a guide dog is more often than not impossible for a blind person. So this is where we're coming. We basically use the latest in AI and robotics, and we basically took autonomous driving technology, scaled it down to something you can wear on your head uh, comfortably for hours. We basically took the main advantages of a guide dog, so keeping the user safe, navigating in an unknown environment, and giving him cues about that environment. Everything in this package um, that basically just fits on your head comfortably and you can take it anywhere you like. Right? So, yeah, that's about it. That's, yeah. that's what we do here. Okay, and can you, um, can you just come forward and kind of come close and show me the cameras on your lens? Yeah, sure. I can show you the nicer version. And, and, okay, good, yeah. This is, this is closer to what the production version would be like. This is what's on my head, is what we do development, what we do testing on with the blind. This is closer to what a production version would be like. And this, this is using technology for, for cars, right? Exactly. So we have six cameras in the front, both RGB and infrared. Uh, we do real-time processing of the 3D environment. We do something that's never been done before in a wearable, that is semantically understand the environment around the user. So that's been done in cars, but never been done in a wearable device like this. And, and you're also using uh, haptics, right? Can you, can you can come back a little bit? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there. And um, can you explain that? So how the haptics work, simulating the dog? So the guide dog, how, how do we guide, how do we actually guide the user, right? So a guide dog would pull your hand. That's how they avoid your obstacles. They pull your hand left and right using the special harness you have. We actually do the same thing, but we do it on the forehead, which is a lot more intuitive. So we use our patented haptic feedback technology to indicate the user where the safe direction is. And similar to the guide dog, we're basically pulling them left and right to avoid them of, ob to avoid them of obstacles. Right? OK. And um, when will it be available? So it's going to be available end of this year in uh, Europe. And we're going to be uh, hitting the US market early next year. OK. Excellent, and, and you, you said that uh, the battery lasts about two hours of continual use, and it, exactly. can, it can fast charge with... Uh, so, exactly, so battery is gonna last about two hours of you continuously walking. If you're not walking, if you're just sitting there, it's gonna last the whole day. Uh, if you have an external battery pack, and for some reason you need more than two hours of, of, of walking, you just plug in the USB-C charger, it's gonna quick charge, and ready in like 45 minutes. Okay, and last, last thing, can you set that down and then can you uh, close your eyes and, and tell us, give us a quick demonstration with sure. this? Yeah, I'm gonna put my blindfold on so I don't cheat. Okay, okay, cool. If you wanna do yes, that yes, as well. Yes. I mean, I can do it with my eyes closed if you want to, but this is, this is a no cheating version because they're really good. <laughs> And I just heard the sounds, letting me know I tilted the headset too much. <laughs> Perfect, so I can't see nothing right now. <laughs> can't see anything. So, you ready for the demo? Yes. Am I ready for the demo? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm just gonna select the guide me option using the buttons. You can also do this by using the voice commands. So he's saying, hey Lumen, guide me. We disable them just for the for this expo. <laughs> but I'm just gonna use the buttons. So home and guide me, select the guide me option. Guide mode activated, perfect.
And right now, I'm gonna search, basically, the vibration is telling me to go that way, uh, if I hold my hands down. So, vibration is basically guiding me towards the safe, uh, the safe path, right? So, I think there's people here, because I, I can feel the vibration moving around. I'm gonna try to walk. Okay, should be. It's telling me it's narrow, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be slow. Can you come back this way? <laughs> I heard you, so I'm coming back. It's telling me it's narrow. It's trying to take me this way, but it's not confident. I have no idea where I am. Okay, I hear that there, somewhere. So I'm gonna try to come back this way. <laughs> wow, Kurt, that's that's like. So I heard, so your, I heard voice. your voice and came back to your voice. Yeah, but that's in reality. That's how it works, right? You use your ears a lot. That's how it works. Yeah. So this guide mode that I'm using right now is basically really similar to what the guide dog would do. So the way you point the device is the way the device is gonna try and take you, right? If it makes sense. So if you know the route, it's, try, it's trying to, right now it's trying to take me there, but it's avoiding me uh, f, uh, basically all, all this equipment in front, right? Okay, they, uh, thank you very much. Thank you.